Previously with Peyton. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Can we lay back? <sighs> that was a good workout. This one right here? I'm about to make me a factor meal, eat, and then lay it on down. Is it what now? It's getting big, mom. What's getting bigger? My booty, mom. When you take it off, I mean. Easy, no. life ain't getting any easier. Flop, flop, flop. All right. Quick intro here. I'm Jen. Um, I'm at the agency working with Skims. What kind of bed you want? I just listen to Drake and mind my business. I don't be in nobody's business. Yeah, we just saw Dennis Rodman. It was an interesting looking film. Be sure to get all caught up on the vlogs and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. So after all the hype, I have finally tried Skims and I may very well be the last person on earth to try it. But after being gifted so many Skims items from a PayPal, hey Miss Mary, um, I decided to try it for myself and I'm obsessed with it and it's the Fits Everybody collection. And I want to thank Skims for sponsoring today's video and partnering with me in today's video to tell you guys about the Fits Everybody collection that I am obsessed with from their bodysuits, their t-shirts, their bralettes, their push-up bras, their boy shorts, and their thongs literally I will never go back to another kind of underwear because it literally melts on your body it helps with my back fat I mean the push-up bra literally lifts I sleep in the bralettes because they are that comfortable and it feels like you're not wearing anything I gotta tell you guys about them and I gotta show you how they fit so stay tuned I absolutely love how Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for everybody. So this fits everybody triangle bralette I got in the color okra in a size large and the high-waisted thong in the color okra in a size medium and I love how it just melts on the body and it doesn't feel like I have on any underwear. Love them so much that I also ordered the bralette in the color onyx in large and then I tried the boy short in the color onyx as well in a size medium as you notice that it gives a nice lift to the breast and it kind of gets rid of that back fat as well really really love this set I also picked up the Fits Everybody Push Up Demi Bra in the color Onyx in a 36 double D. As you can see, it lifts that back fat skin perfectly as you can't see anything. And it just really molds and fits to the body. I love how super lightweight the material is. And I also love that you can't tell that I have on a bra under this Fits Everybody t-shirt. I got this in the color Onyx in a size large and it just fits seamlessly. I mean, I could have actually got this in a medium for a little bit more fit to it i also picked up the fits everybody square neck bodysuit in the color sienna in a size large and this is going to be a staple piece in my wardrobe i'm telling you it's a reason why they have over 100,000 five star reviews so believe the hype plus you get free shipping for orders over 75 dollars or more so make sure you click the link in the description box to check out the fits everybody collection and other perfect body essentials and don't forget to let them know that i sent you by clicking youtube on the survey after you purchase and clicking my name in my channel from the drop down menu and thanks again to skims for sponsoring today's video Hey y'all, welcome back to another day in my life. I haven't done a day in my life in so long. We've been doing these 
living alone diaries mommy diaries weekly vlogs daily vlogs i ain't did a day in my life in a while so this may be comprised of two days today's friday and i'm gonna do saturday as well and this should go live sunday so me and karen went and made um candles yesterday so um we did not put a rush on our candle order because we didn't put a rush on them i told her that i would pick them up today because we did them yesterday now we could have taken them home yesterday but i wanted them to cure the right way so when i actually light them in the house that they would project the way they're supposed to um as opposed to like rushing the candle i feel like that that affects um how strong it is i ain't i'm not I, I don't really know i ain't no expert in candle making but i have a home girl marie who makes candles and when we have talked about her making candles she says that you have to let the candle sit for 12 hours and you know just running a candle business was very like meticulous and tedious and things like that so me knowing that i didn't want to like take the candles home yesterday plus i knew that we weren't going right home afterwards why is it always water right here like what is that about it don't even be raining but it be water it it's like always water right here like standing water but um yeah because i knew that we weren't going straight home um i didn't i didn't one i didn't want candles to like be in my in my car and like candle wax waste and all of that stuff because it's still like being hundreds in dallas at night time i'm talking about 9 10 11 12 at night it's still being hundreds so yeah i didn't want it to melt in like you know spill in a car and and all of this so i was like i just picked them up tomorrow when they're done so now we're headed um to pick them up now so yeah i'm just gonna go and pick this up really quick and i think i might head back to the house and relax i need to film one more sponsorship for the month and then i'll be done with work for the month not including um like just filming and vlogging i did want to head over to highland park mall but i guess i'll go over there tomorrow and do like a little mall day shopping day tomorrow because i really just want to relax and eat and watch tv so when we get back to the house i'm gonna pop on me some mary jane um heat up my leftovers from last night because we went to yardbird and um chill and respond to some comments because a video just went live today and what's so crazy y'all i was like so down on myself about that video because i don't know i just haven't been feeling like extremely motivated lately um and cindy says that i could potentially be experiencing burnout um it could be burnout because i still have I, st I still kind of feel like I haven't felt the after effects of daily vlogging in July. Did I daily vlog in July or was it June? It was June. It was June. I still haven't really felt the after effects of daily vlogging in June. So I could be experiencing burnout. That, that totally could be what it is. But I just haven't been feeling very motivated and I haven't been wanting to edit very much. So, yeah. But that's why I take like breaks in um, in the beginning of every month, and I go hard at the end of every month. But yeah, it could be it could be burnout. I don't know. I don't know. But we are gonna take a nice little break at the beginning of September, and then and then we'll. This smells so good. It's called Rich Bitch Oud. I made that's what I call my Rich Bitch Oud. And Karen has caramel, spiced caramel, and leather. Her smells like a file candle. For sure, for sure. What the hell was that? It you can definitely smell the leather. 
and the caramel. Like that was cat. Listen, Karen know what she's doing, especially with them combos, baby. Karen combo and four fragrances at a time. Listen, stop playing well. Y'all, how, how hot is it? It's a 105. It's 105 degrees outside. It is hot. Whew, Lord, it's so hot outside, y'all. This literally my first time coming out the house. It's so doggone hot outside. It's 6.06 in the, in the evening. And it's 105 degrees outside. The wind feels like you uh, got your blow dryer on. When the wind blow on you, it feel like a blow dryer. Like you blow drying your hair on hot, on heat, with the heat. That's what it feel like. It's so doggone hot here. You will be a fool not to put on sunscreen. Tell me when was the last time you brought her roses home from work? Now if this don't apply you, if this don't apply to you, keep doing what you do. Keep doing what you do. So I am upset. I ordered some Brookside dark chocolate, acai, and blueberry, acai and blueberry chocolates. Y'all, when I tell you I want to curse somebody else so bad. I was wondering where the hell my chocolates were. I go check my mail because I ordered some stuff from Amazon and they said they put it in my mailbox. I said, okay, let me go. Let me go check my mail. I check my mail. Ain't nothing in my mailbox. Now, we also have those little um, concierge lockers, you know, the postal lockers or whatever they're supposed to put the key to that postal locker in my mailbox that lets me know that i have stuff in the postal locker baby why was they putting stuff in the postal locker without putting the key in my mailbox i ordered some acai blueberry brookside dark chocolates i ordered them over a week week a week or two ago i'm thinking okay maybe they just on um, back order they haven't shipped them They were in the mailbox. They shipped these with an ice packet. I opened it and water came out. The ice packet is hot and melted and it was water all in. And, and of course the chocolates are completely melted. I'm so mad. Cause you know these are not cheap. I am so mad. So, got to throw that away. Because I was wondering, like, I'm getting all of these shipping delivery notifications from the clothing companies that I've been ordering from. And I'm like, well, ain't nothing on my doorstep. So, okay, maybe let me just let me just wait a little while longer. I'm being patient, which is which is actually really good because, babe, I would have been done cursed somebody out in customer service by now. It was sitting in the postal locker unlocked this whole time. By the grace of God and just luckily, no one in this townhome community are thieves, right? Or maybe they just can't fit the shit. I don't know. But everything was in my locker like it was supposed to be, at least from what I can see. Um, but yeah, so now I got to reach out to Amazon again. And I'm so like over talking to Amazon. I'm so over talking to Amazon, y'all. Like Amazon been on my list. You know what I'm saying? They been on my list for a little while. But. <sighs> anyway, Heaven sent me some new jewelry. So let's see what she sent. Because that's going to always make me feel better. She got some new rings in. That I, that when I seen them, I immediately wanted them. This is so cute. Is this, I think this is in right there. No. She sent me two packages. See, this is what I'm talking about. They haven't been putting my the they haven't been putting the key in my postal locker. So I didn't even know that she had sent me this stuff.
See, here go the rings. They are so cute. So you just put like, you have three, and you put all three on your fingers. And then she sent some some stuff for Karen, some jewelry for Karen. Look at this necklace. That's cute as hell. She sent me this gold one and a silver one. This cute. She sent this cute blue necklace. These cute earrings. She sent a lot of cute stuff. And as you guys know, you can always go and shop and support my cousin's jewelry brand at shoplinkandlive.com. I'll have the link in the description box. <laughs> some lovers egg roll i think it's, that's what it's called lovers egg roll yeah when did you learn that song mom it's been all over social media can't help but damn and i still wasted it fuck that curry be staining the white countertops what you want I get it. Can you Karen, you are smacking. Because this food's good. I it know, but God, dog. Chew with your mouth closed, please. Yum, 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 Do you want to put on your and say no? You are hilarious. What? <laughs> what? I, I, I asked you, did you want to put punch and you said no? Okay, so I was on Instagram about two weeks ago because I want to say this took two weeks to get to me. I was scrolling on Instagram and I ran across this page called Style Warehouse. All of the pieces looked super nice and very much fast fashion. Like I've seen these pieces on like celebrities and stuff like this. So I was like, okay, let me check out the website and I'm not gonna lie to y'all everything was extremely overpriced um, based on the look of the website I feel like a lot of this stuff probably was like marked up as far as like the the original wholesale price it was like probably marked up a lot but I got it anyway I'm not gonna lie one of the dresses I actually found on Micah's for like $30 cheaper. So I was super mad about that. But let me show y'all what I got. Okay, so this first piece is so freaking cute. I had to get it. This is just a cute knit slinky dress with the ruffle hem. And I got this in an extra small so it can like really hug me. Um, Hanifa has a dress that's similar to this on her website. Uh, I believe this dress was $60. Yeah, this whole, this whole tag is in Chinese. I, I don't know what this is. I want to say the dress was $60 though. So, on Hanifa's website, I think it's like $300. So I definitely got a deal. We're going to try everything on after I show it to y'all. Um, 
Then I got another knit dress. I'm not really sure how this is going to fit because it's not like super, like it's not hugging in the waist area. So like, I don't know. We might end up wearing this as a cardigan with some jeans because I'm not sure how this is going to fit. But it's a dress. It's a knit dress. Then, if you recall, Kim Kardashian had a dress like this. I got this in an extra small. It's like a long maxi dress, but it's like super fitted. Got that. This dress right here, as far as the quality, it's definitely it definitely was not worth sixty dollars this is a very like cheaply made dress but it's cute it has that little hanging ruffle situation that's trending right now i want to say i got this in an extra smile or a smile and then this dress is just basically a laser cut dress like i was not expecting this i was not but i've seen this dress all over social media and this was a 60 dollars dress too okay let's try everything now all right this is the first dress i definitely could have got this in a size smile okay i did not have to get an extra smile maybe i was being very careful putting this on so i didn't rip any seams because it is tight okay um but it's snatching now how am i going to wear this because it's completely see-through so i'm thinking a skims nude bodysuit underneath i think that that would be the best option but um it's not a cover-up it's giving cover-up but it's, it's a dress this would be perfect on a vacation like i would definitely not wear this like anywhere in Dallas even though Dallas has vacation weather I wouldn't wear this anywhere in Dallas this is Miami Cabo type of vibes okay this is the next dress I want to say I got this in an extra small but this could be a small but as you can see like you can see like the openings which means that the dress is too small but I mean if I wanted to wear this like on a trip as a cover-up to make it more wearable i would probably wear this as a cardigan and like leave it open or i mean it's it's various ways that i can wear this and cutify it up but as a dress based on like how short it is in the bag i would not wear this as a dress per se i would wear it as a cover-up or a cardigan okay no lie no tea this dress is amazing okay i do not feel like it's worth 60 dollars though but it is very lightweight and airy it's a nice sexy dress um it's definitely laser cut but it's easy to put on i'm gonna have to figure out what i'm gonna wear underneath but i love the look of this this is a perfect date night dress yeah when i say i underestimate my size like when i look in the mirror i see something totally different than what i actually am i got this i want to say i got this in an extra smile or a smile i probably needed to size up in this because this is tight okay like girl this is tight so size up definitely size up but this is really really cute perfect for a date night or if you're on a trip with the girls girls trip or a solo trip this is a perfect dress for a solo dinner out of the country all right and the last dress of the night is this cute white knit dress this is definitely gonna be perfect on a trip this is so cute. I definitely got this one in an extra small. Is it worth the price? Totally not worth the price. If you can find it somewhere else cheaper, get it because it's going to be the exact same item. But I'm telling you, you can size down on this one so it can really fit and hug your curves because this is knit. So knit stretches and it doesn't really hug you like ribbed. So I highly suggest sizing down on this one. But this is really cute. And honey, it's giving body. Okay. 
You didn't stay up all that night, did you? Nope. I did not stay all night. No, I didn't. I went to sleep all night. Alright. Gotta get your beauty rest. I did get my booty rest. You got your booty rest or your beauty rest? I just got my beauty rest. You got your beauty rest. Alright. Next time you wanna go on the eat. I'm about to make carrot. Now you look you didn't eat these strawberries. Come on now, stop wasting food. This two, this four good strawberries I could have used in a parfait. I'm about to have me some peaches and bananas. And an egg. Come on with your uh, camera. Uh -uh. Damn, these peaches go bad fast. Oh my god. Literally, all of these peaches was like hard when we first got them. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna have to stop putting the peaches in the refrigerator. Because this thing, like, when you put them in the refrigerator, they last long. Like the I hope you pay for it until you stop paying. You really have it this morning. What's going on? How long you been up? I just got up. I was sleep. You just got up. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go to the gym in a little bit. You wanna go with me? Next time you wanna go on and leave, you should just go on and do it. I don't put on this new camera, but this new American Sony ZV10, the batteries do not last in this one as opposed to the one I got from Dubai. I literally just put a battery that was at 100% in it this morning. It's already at 56. I don't know. Headed to the gym. I can't remember if this is a heated class or not, so I put shorts on today. Can we tell I'm bulking up? <sighs> and we're rocking the Convies today. Yo, you gotta wear thick socks with Converse, otherwise, they're gonna feel loose as hell on your feet. But y'all, can y'all tell my, my legs getting big? Look at the thighs, look at the quads. We're gonna work on legs after we do a little bar too. Come on, baby. 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 Baby.
So good, it tastes like a Snickers. Mm. Cheers, it's so good. Okay, y'all, I feel so good. That class was intense, though. It wasn't as intense as Best Butt Ever. Best Butt Ever, like, yeah, sweating your wig out, sweating your weave out, but true bar oh i'm going again like i love it i love it i definitely need some work i wasn't able to like do all of the workouts like you know what i'm saying like if, if it was a, a 15 count because she was doing like reps of 15 i was stopping a couple of times but neither here nor there is still a really good workout for your calf muscles for your quads <clears throat> your legs your booty your core your arms your back full body workout and i love that i love how she incorporate i mean it's a bar class so i love the bar incorporating like i feel like a ballerina i feel like a ballerina i'm like yes okay love that so definitely going back to true bar probably probably the next class the next class she has i'm probably gonna go back to it because 
that was an awesome workout okay so what else do we have to do on the to-do list today okay checking off true bar i need to donate some clothes do i get Oh, they need a big seat. Yeah, I need to take some clothes down to Genesis, which is right down the street. Yes, we love that. It's right down the street. Okay, I need to mail Ray's birthday gift off. I want to go by Fendi and get some more jewelry because I really love Fendi's jewelry. It, it, it stands up to the test of time. Like, I literally have had this since my 39th birthday, and it hasn't tarnished or anything. I, I definitely need to get it clean, but... I mean, I live in this necklace just because it like it's perfect to cover up the keloids on my chest. I live in this necklace and it has not tarnished or anything. So I definitely want to get some more Fendi jewelry just because I feel like it's really good quality. One of the PayPal's told me <clears throat> that Tory Burch has some silver and gold sandals that match the Jackal Moose bag that I just bought. So I want to go back. Tory Burch. I really like the Steve Madden Hermes dupe sandals, so I want to go to North Park Mall and see if they have some more colors. Um, and then I'm changing my hair today, so that's on the to do list today. That's what we're doing today. And I also want to get my lashes done, but lashes take like two hours, and I don't think I'm gonna find anybody that will be able to do them today. I did find a girl that does Vegas's uh, lashes and she has an opening tomorrow. <clears throat> so I might get my lashes done tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, quite a few things to donate with us today. No, just this bag in, in behind me. Behind your seat? Yeah. Would you like a receipt? Uh, sure, thank you. Gonna get you. Okay. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. He handed it it's to me. It's okay. Over. Thank you. Have a great day. He looked like this dude I used to talk to. Named Marvin. You wanna dance, Marvin? Okay, I ain't mad at Genesis with the uh pull up, drop off, pick it out your car, and you keep on going. See, last time I came here, it was packed. The parking lot and the line was long and it was packed. So I'm like, oh my God, it's not anywhere to park. I got to get out. I just, I didn't know like how everything worked, but it is actually convenient. It was just a Sunday and it was, everybody was up here that day. Genesis must be, Genesis must be a really good thrift store too, because be a lot of people in there all right check that's done I'm really not that sweaty but I'm about to go home and take a shower anyway and put some clothes on just because I'm getting ready to go over to the Highland Park Mall and um I just want to get cute I kind of want to I just I just want to get cute today it's a Saturday it's a beautiful day outside I'm going to see if Miss Cameron want to go. She probably ain't going to want to do nothing. Cameron do not like being hot, baby. This six years in Chicago has done her in, honey. She don't know what to do in this 100, 109 degree weather. Ma'am just be want to stay in the house like a hermit. Is that the word? She is such a homebody. I'd be like, Cameron, you want to go driving? No, I just want to stay in the house. I'm like, okay. This used to be my shit. to the store you want to go with me no <laughs> why not because it's hot 
it is hot outside it's 109 it is hot as hell well i'm gonna get i'm gonna get cute and go to the store you don't want to go she's so serious she really don't want to go do a money uh a running man do the running man yeah so much easier when I was skinny. Like now everything just jiggling and shaking and it makes, <laughs> makes me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Now I'm about to find me some to wear. Yeah. I really want to wear this little cute little so like I showed y'all this is totally a dress but I'm gonna wear it as a cardigan today because I want to be cute and bam look perfect color green so I'm gonna wear these green trouser like they're like a capri trouser with this as a cardigan but we need a top we need a cute top. So we got this plain white bodysuit. Cause I'm not really, I don't, I'm not in the mood to put on a crop top. I mean, we could put on a crop top, though. I got this one, too, from Fashion Nova. We'll try both on and see what it's looking like. What it's looking like. Oh, Mom, I tried the, um, well, I didn't know the water. It was good. You tried the water in the water? It was good? Yeah. Cool. Try it, mom. It's really, really good. I tried it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry. But I guess you don't know. Okay, we're giving up sophisticated cash today. So I have um, the SW label dress. I'm wearing it as a cardigan. Um, the pants are from Zara. I'm wearing my Steve Madden Hermes dupe sandals. And then jewelry is Jasper and Cal watches with shop link and live pieces, the rings and the bracelet. And then over here is the Fendi ring and the Fendi bracelet as well as my Fendi necklace. So we're giving sophisticated cash today and i'm also because it's hot and sunny outside i'm also going to don these versace retro style oval glasses because we're giving like we're giving like i feel like i look like this is a shopping day in italy do you feel it i feel it oh and today's fragrance is pen haligon's how fetty Jumping on wood that you never seen. Yeah. It got bulletproof glass in the ceiling screen. Let me guess, it cost you like a hundred thousand. No little bitch, it cost seven beans. I'm doing what you do in your dreams. Take up some space. Make it
Okay, so I did go in Tory Birch. I forgot that it was a Tory Birch in the Highland Park Mall in this area. Um, unfortunately, they did not have the silver and gold Tory Birch slides that everybody's been telling me about. They did have the heels, but baby, those was looking like uh, Hocus Pocus shoes. Baby, I, it was looking like I was getting ready to uh, get on a broom and fly away and put a couple of spells on these niggas. I don't want them ugly ass shoes. Them shoes is not cute. Ugh. Ugh. Not on my leg. Maybe on a girl with like some thick legs possibly. But on my leg, no ma'am. So we're probably gonna do the slides because I do like the look of them and I feel like on a casual day when I want to wear that Jacquemus bag, I could put on some je some jeans, like a crop top, put on those slides and still give a nice fashionable statement. But like child not them not with them heels no ma'am not with them heels and i know i wouldn't wear them i know for a fact that i would never wear those shoes even if i found an outfit that the shoes would look good with to wear the purse i still probably wouldn't pick the shoes over my other silver shoes that i have in my collection already because i still haven't worn those dolce and gabbana platform shoes one i'm scared them like some seven inch heels child um i still haven't worn them though and I really need to like put all, put all my effort into wearing those if I ever find like a silver outfit to wear. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we about to head over to the North Park Mall because I still want to go to Steve Madden and um, Nordstrom's. I seen some brown Fendi slides in Fendi. I was very close. I was this close to getting them. But she was already like, she had already rung me up and stuff like that. So we'll see if they got them in Nordstrom's. If not, then we'll come back another day and get those because they were super, super cute. Um, but yeah, let's head over to that mile. Listen, when the sun set, that's when you can like really feel and see how beautiful it is to live in Dallas. It is so beautiful here hi thank you it is so beautiful here we usually match whatever online is but online doesn't match whatever the price is store that's crazy yeah Talk for a minute. Also, really, the 
this. It looks just like my brain. show y'all what I got. Man, I lost one of my rings. One of my Shop Link and Live rings. I hope it's in one of these bags because I just noticed it was gone and I'm going to be sad about this. Y'all, I got so many compliments off this outfit. I'm talking about like a lot of compliments today in the mall. So cute. Sometimes I wish you could like we re-wear the same outfit over and over again because baby the looks was looking today okay okay so we got a lot of stuff we did a huge haul today so i'm gonna start with zara because that's the only place that i really didn't get b-roll um i walked in zara just to look around honestly because i literally just went in zara maybe a week or two ago baby zara got them pieces okay I'm hoping that I can fit this stuff. We're going to do a try on haul in a minute because <sighs> some things I got in a size extra small like this. This was the last. How much was this? Oh, you know what? I got excited because this said $49.95, but I think this was in Canadian. How much was this doggone waistcoat? Because I think $49.95. It was $59.90. Okay. It was $59.90. That's not too bad. But we did damage in Zara today. We spent $451 in Zara today. So I ended up getting this in an extra small. It's a cute little tie waistcoat. I don't know why, but I feel like I got one like that that's similar. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think so. Maybe not. But I got that to wear with my flare, with my wide leg jeans and the black Steve Mann sandals. Cause I've been like really loving the old money aesthetic lately. Where it's like, you're not really doing too much. So like you might have on like a cute tan vest with like jeans and like some slide on um sandals or something like that with a cute purse like not doing too much i've really been loving the old money aesthetic and if you don't know what the old money aesthetic is just type it in the search menu on pinterest and you will see plenty because honestly i didn't even know that this was a thing it was a trend i just i don't know ever since curacao with the um the scarf on my head i just really been loving the old money aesthetic so um to little little did i know that it's actually a trend zara actually gives old money aesthetic i think zara whole mo is old money aesthetic if i'm if if we being honest so 
yeah i've really been liking it lately so i picked up a lot of pieces that i can wear like day-to-day -day staple items so i also picked up these high right high rise leggings from zara i love these because it got this seam down the the middle that looks like a crease plus these cute buttons and i got these in a size medium medium those were 49.90 I also picked up this tan vest, which will be really cute with some wide leg jeans and um, some sandals with a cute brown bag. This was bitch, I am lying. That waistcoat was $89.90. This one. This one was $59.90. Ooh, y'all gotta be careful. I gotta be careful shopping in Zara when I see these doggone, that Canadian tag. That should be getting me. It be getting me. I knew I went crazy. Then we got this cute dress. It's like a halter dress with a tie in a size medium. This was $49.90. I got this cute ass dress. Oh, ain't that cute? This was $35.90. Then I got this. Oh, these was $59.90. Okay. Then I got this. What are these? Overalls? Yeah, these overalls. Wide leg oh, pinstripe overalls was $59.90. I got Kyron some stuff. And then I got these trousers in a size medium and they were $49.90. It's like a satin trouser. They had to the trousers, they had the top to match that. I didn't want the top because it gave pajama and I just didn't feel like I can make that work. But I have a satin top from Zara that I can pair with it to make that pop okay to make that cute then we went over to nordy's and i picked up the bottega sandals that i tried on so these are in the color cane sugar and i got these in a 39 so cute i talk i got these in uh like a mauve pink i talk so bad about these sandals because they hurt so bad they are not walking shoes at all but i love how they look on my feet and i love how they look on my leg so i got another pair got that then we did also go to steve madden and pick up some more of those hermes dupe sandals so I got them in black and I got them in Rafi Brown or Rafi Tan. These are perfect, perfect for vacation and they'll go really great with my Marnie bag that I got. I also ordered them in denim in the same size. They didn't have them in my size in the store. You will be surprised how big of a difference the seven and a half and the eight fit. The eight fit so loose. So I ordered them in denim. So they'll be coming in the mail. And then I ordered some Gian Vito Rossi dupes in bronze. Cause I feel like they'll be really cute with that. Um, that crochet lime green dress that I tried on earlier in the video, in this vlog. So yeah, I got them in bronze. And then, last but not least, what did we get at Fendi? So I posted on my Instagram today that I was in Fendi and everybody been saying, Fendi got you in a chokehold and Fendi my favorite, X and me is Fendi my favorite designer. They are. They are. Fendi is my favorite designer. I like the price point and I just like the style of the bags and the, the jewelry is really nice as well. Okay, so we got a bag because I needed more black bags. So I got this cute, wow, this is really in here, huh? Okay, so I got this cute bag. Ain't that cute? You can't fit nothing but a phone in it and maybe lip gloss in your, um, card holder 
but I feel like this was so cute and dainty. Plus, I can put that chain that I have on my other small Fendi bag. I can use that chain with this as well. So I picked up that bag, and then I got a lot of jewelry because that's what I went in there to get, jewelry, because I really like my bracelets and my rings. So I went in and I got some more of their jewelry. The first, I got the matching earrings. To this ring and this bracelet, I got the matching earrings. So cute little studs. I'm trying to rush because I'm running out of memory. So I got this ring. I got the bracelet to match this. I got the bracelet to match that ring. So that bracelet. Cause I just could not leave this ring in here. This ring is so freaking sexy. Then I got that ring. Ain't that cute? That's nice. So yeah, two rings, a bracelet and some earrings. I was going to get a necklace, but I'm so in love with the Fendi forever necklace that I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, <sighs> that's my haul. I ain't do too much damage. I did all right. We did good. <sighs> now I want to try. Look at Cameron. Look, y'all. Cameron's so sweet. She done made me some watermelon in a bowl and, my, and watermelon water. A little snack because she know I'm going to have to eat it tonight. I love her. All right. Let's try on these Zara pieces because whatever doesn't fit, we're taking it back. Okay, these are the first pair of trousers. Like I said, I got these in a medium. I'm gaining weight so I can grow into these. These actually, I could have got these in a small. God dog, Zara. I just, I, I can't win when it comes to Zara, baby. I cannot win. I could have got these in a small because they fit. Like, look at that. We got some slack back here. I feel like if I had got these in a small, they would have been... A little bit more tighter. <sighs> God, it's such a gamble shopping in Zara when you dick. <sighs> Shit. Alright, what do we want to do? So anyway, like I was saying, I have a satin top that I can wear with these. This is also from Zara. Literally have had this over a year. Uh, tag steel on it I swear when you it's, it's, you, it's really like coming in my closet it's really like you going shopping cause tag steel on a lot of this stuff <sighs> I don't know maybe I can get these tailored but something is telling me to go back and get a smile okay this fits really cute probably could have got a smile in this too I just didn't want to chance it, but god dog, now I still got to go back up there. Shit. Okay, this is in a medium. As you can see, it's very much good for girls with long legs, honey. I mean, I could keep it if I want this loose fit. If I want to go with this loose fit, but if I want it to be, if I want it to hug a little bit more, I could go size, I could size down and get a small. Okay, this dress is so cute. I'm trying not to say super cute. That's like the, <laughs> that's like the phrase that all influencers use to describe something. It's super cute. This is super cute. Uh, super cute. But this is super cute though. Look at this. And y'all know I love me a necktie. This is definitely for fall. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. It does kind of hug my hips a little bit. Um, it's loose in the waist area and then it hugs my hips. You know Zara not BBL friendly, okay? Zara do not make clothes for girls with BBLs. Zara make clothes for the natural girls, okay? And that's fine. We love a good old natural girl, okay? 
bizarre. Can you work with us? But this is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, now we got these high-rise leggings. And I don't know why, but something tells me I already got these and the tag probably still on them. We're gonna check. But I don't know why I feel like I already bought these and I just haven't ever worn them. Okay, then we got this cute vest that I plan on wearing with like some jeans. Okay, yes, cause I got this in a small. And I'm like, oh, is this gonna fit over these double D's, baby? Cause you know, these double D's don't be wanna act right with me, but this is cute. With like some jeans in those Rafi Steve Mann's shoes that I showed you, the Hermes Dukes, that'll be so cute. I'm just like a, you know, like a cash day, you know what I'm saying? One of your friends in town, they want to go shopping, go to the same room, go to brunch, a cash day, you know? Then we got this waistcoat in an extra smile, and baby, it very much is an extra smile. It fit, though. I mean, I wanted a smile. I wanted, I, I wanted a smile. Let's see if we can close it. If we can close it, then I'm keeping it. This damn thing was $89. I ought to take it back just because of it. I was hoping I did so I could take this one back because $90 is very much too much. Uh, but I don't, so I'm going to keep it. Or maybe not. <laughs> okay, Zara. It's giving basic instinct. I like this. This is real good quality too, baby. This is giving very much basic instinct. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. I ain't gonna lie though, but between me and you, this was this dress was hard as hell to get on. True to size. You definitely can get true to size in this, cause I got a medium, and I'm very much a medium. But it was hard as hell to get on. Okay. I struggled a little. Well, damn. Hey, now hold on. Okay, so these are like the ones, except they're, they're like the leggings, except for these don't have the button. So we're in the clear. Okay, so we're gonna make pepperoni lasagna. I got my pepperoni, cottage cheese, parmesan cheese, mozzarella, turkey sausage. No, that's not turkey sausage, shit. That is lean ground turkey. Lasagna noodles, and we got ragu. We got sauteed onion and garlic. Right here. As far as seasonings, we're gonna use Flavor God's Italian Zest. Um, the one this is from this is from one of the PayPal's. B is the one. Is this is the one seasoning? This is from one of the PayPal's and uh, garlic salt. Every little bit, I 
ain't never seen a drip like this Heaven at my fingertips Let's not let a minute slip to Say you Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have three layers. Cause I done ran out of pepperoni. I got a lot of noodles and sauce left though. But I've ran out of pepperoni, parmesan cheese, and cottage cheese. So we just got three layers, which is good. So this is what we're looking like so far. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven. for 45 minutes she never comes out here with me but she just asked me i was downstairs uh, watching tv and she was like you want to come out to the rooftop with me i'm like sure she never comes up here the moon is out and it's pretty everything okay yeah yeah it's the fact that it's not any bugs on the rooftop right now. Like, love that. Oh, it smells so good in this house, y'all. Came back just in time. I say you the fucking best. You the fucking best. You the fucking best. See, this is why you don't put and we are done let's give it a taste Man, that's good as hell. Mm, mm, mm. Burnt my damn tongue. Burnt my damn tongue, but it's good. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. I need to start cooking my waffles. Baby, because I can throw down. I can throw down with the, with the best of them. Yeah. 